Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Takis. This is our React JS Material UI tutorial. So in this video, I am going to implement autocomplete component using API data. Okay. So in this series, already I have created one autocomplete video. There we have covered some basic topics, and for the data load, I have used the hard code array. Okay. So now let me go to my application. We can start our implementation one by one. Based on my last autocomplete video, I have created this component. So this is mainly for autocomplete control only. And here we can see this autocomplete control. For the data purpose, I am using these props. So if I am checking this one, here we have these options and also this get option label. So in these options, I have used this country. This country is nothing but an array. It having some hard code data. Okay. So instead of this hard code data, we can get the data from our API. Okay. For the API point of view, I am going to use the JSON server REST API. So the same API only we have used in our material UI table video also. Okay. So let me go to my material UI table component. Okay. This is our API endpoint. So let me copy this one. See, we have a response like this. Okay. Next in our auto component also, I'm going to use this use CFI hook. So this is kind of function only, but it will be executed on the page load. We can provide the zero dependency. Okay, this is fine. And also I'm going to declare one use state variable for holding our uh, API data. So constant m list so the default value i have provided one array okay so let me format this one next using this fetch option we can call our api so this is our api endpoint url we can return our response into json format okay So after that, using this change, m change, we can assign the values into our m list. And if there is any error, we can capture in this console. So e dot message. Okay, we have done the basic steps. So let me format this one. And also we can see the current output. Okay, the initial value is loaded. If I'm searching like something, it is filtering. Okay, now instead of this hard code value, let me use this M list in our prop side. I'm just changing this one. If I'm refreshing the screen once again, I'm getting like undefined Ramesh. So the reason is. So in this label, we have binded like code and a name, okay? But in our object, we are getting like ID, name, email, and a phone number only. So let me change this code into ID. So let me refresh once again. So now, we are getting the value of combination of code and name, okay? Now we can get the data from this autocomplete. So already we have returned the function. So in this on change event, we are calling this get data function. So whatever value is coming, we are just capturing in this console. Okay. So let me remove this one. So now let me open this console also. See, if I'm clicking this one, I am getting this complete object, okay? Okay, now we are getting the complete object, okay? So next, what I'm going to do, let me do some customization. Instead of this complete object, we can bind the single fields, okay? So we can take this name from our uh, definition probe side. So in these options, I have directly used this same list, okay? So here, I'm going to use the map keyword.
this option dot name so since I'm binding this name only so let me remove these two items so we can save this one okay, I just refreshed now if I'm trying to take the value see Ramesh single values only so we can see in this console also I just selected this William so now if I'm trying to select this all but I am able to get the individual data okay so whatever value we have selected that we are able to get in our console also okay so next what I'm going to do so instead of the single value we can use as the object okay so this property is name so similarly I am going to include one more property that is the ID so option dot ID we can use it here and let me format this one and in this get option label also instead of these options because it's having the object so we can provide us options dot name okay so let me save this one so let me refresh it so I am able to get all the values okay our search function is working all the records are loaded if I'm selecting this Rajesh I'm getting this ID and the name also so similarly if I'm choosing some other name okay so whatever data we are selecting based on that we will get the complete object information okay so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching